Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. If you want to skip the intro, there will be a timestamp below. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. I like to say if you can feel it, then it's most likely your message. So if it hits you, okay? If the message does resonate, there is a link below in the description box for the extended version. That's how you get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings. There's also information below for the ritual kits that I offer for personal readings, the decks that I use, the tarot course offered, it's all linked below. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's jump right in. So this message is going to be for Aquarius weekly guidance message for December 6th through the 12th. And in this message, Aquarius, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We'll see what's challenging this. Then we are going to look into what's to come if you stay in this energy. Clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice, guidance moving forward. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Aquarius, what we can see for your guys' energy, December 6th through the 12th. Most important message here for Aquarius spirit. What does Aquarius need to see? Page of Wands, Ace of Swords, Lovers, Energy. Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Energy. Okay. It's definitely seeming like a twin flame connection here. And I feel here right now, the energy is this twin flame connection is in conflict. This is a deep connection. There is a tie here. You're feeling tied energetically to this person and them to you. Now, for from what I can tell, the reason why there's a disconnect, the challenge here is minced words. Whatever you guys had said to one another it's caused you to change your perspective and them to change your perspective on one another. In the present moment, Aquarius, there is a separation here. You are not in union with this person. The reason why you're separated is because of some sort of argument where you guys had cussed one another out, said some things that maybe were harsh, were unnecessary, had some truth to them, but really unnecessary to say, and this caused disruption in this connection. However, there is a twin flame connection here. That's the main message. The lover's energy is coming out with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands, okay? I do feel like there will be a reconciliation coming. In December, you're going to need to prepare for this. Now, I don't see this as a reconciliation where you guys are just going to come together and sweep one another off of your feet. I feel like you guys are going to have an opportunity to make amends with whatever it is that you guys have said. So let's clarify the energy here, Aquarius, for you. We're going to start with the Page of Wands. Ace of Swords, Lover's Energy. For Aquarius, please and thank you. Mm -hmm. So this conflict, 
that you're experiencing with this person it's causing there to be some instability not only between you and this person but i feel like this is spewing over into your personal life now this could be your person but i feel like this is your energy aquarius and even though you may have your nose to the grindstone and you may be headed in the right direction i do feel like things would be going a lot smoother coming together a lot quicker if there wasn't the separation the challenge here Aquarius is this disagreement that you guys had that caused this separation there's been some heavy words that have been said and it's caused a lot of questioning was this person really meaning that were they in their feelings or is that something that they truly mean? Okay. Now, it's going to be an opportunity. And I feel here this opportunity is going to come in January. I don't feel like it's coming in December. This message is coming out for you to get prepared for this making amends with one another. Because I really honestly feel if you're honest with yourself, if they're honest with themselves, you both had a part to play in this disconnect. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Twin Flame journey, I recommend you looking into that a little bit. This is going to be a connection that you have, you are drawn to this person and maybe can't even explain why. Have a deep tie. You guys are gonna have a lot of similarities. Also a lot of differences. The main thing that's going to tell you if this is your twin flame connection if this message is resonating with you is that pull that energetic pull to this person it's going to be a person who you've probably fallen out of connection with several times and always came back into union with so Aquarius, let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward thank you guys so much for all the love and support Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Not going to do an extended version to this reading. I am going to add a link below. If that's something you guys are interested in getting entered into the drawing we do here every month. If you're finding the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. I do feel like there is going to be a conversation. This person is going to come back in and they're going to want to have a conversation about this past situation here. If you take some time and think about this, take some time and think about what it is, the part that you played in this disconnect, but also what you need in order to feel stable enough to move forward. Is it an apology? Is it a clear path forward? Um, set that boundary. Set that stage. For Set the foundation for this to come together. Okay? There is a need here to just be very upfront and honest about the energy that you are feeling. Okay? But also about what you will and won't accept from this person. Again, there is going to be an opportunity to make amends here. What will you do with this? Because it can go one of two ways, Aquarius. You can come together with this person. You guys can both apologize, say your piece, and get back on a friendly note. Um, or you guys can come back around each other and start the process, but it turn into this blame game scenario. I feel an energy of this turning out more positively and that's why there's a need to be mindful of your energy and just get crystal clear in the month of December on 
how the conversation would go if you had this opportunity. Spirit of Blessing message, sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all of the love and the support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Your blessing message here, Aquarius, is the past is over. This is a new day, one that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. The past is over. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Aquarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.